So let me explain regarding the storage issues. Uh, so this is Mac Mini M4 uh, with 256 basic variant. Let me show you. This is the basic variant which I purchased. Now the issue is when I was editing the final cut uh, video in Final Cut Pro, which was at least uh, something around uh, just a 1.7 GB. Uh, it had come up to 134 GB. So I deleted the file actually. It was coming up to 134 GB. So, so it was coming up to 134 GB and there was a lot of uh, different issues which I was facing. So Final Cut Pro I got an issue that uh, memory is full. So it was like uh, 256 GB totally it was full just for 1.7 GB of editing in Final Cut Pro it came up to 134 just at the time of starting. So thing is uh, I tried using this uh, HDD which I had old one. You can see the speed uh, 36 uh, and uh, 37 Mbps. Uh, let me show you actual uh, speed of uh, let me check. select target let me I've selected uh, Mac mini and uh, HD of Mac mini now we can see let me again on this now you can see the speed of uh, this is the actual Mac mini speed what we are getting in HDD was just uh, 36 MB so thing is HDD won't work so what about SDD? So thing is what we are researching regarding SDD. Let me show you. So this is SDD Samsung T9 also if you opt one terabyte is costing you around 14,000. But actually if you go and see in uh, this one, it is costing around 20,000 higher. So even though uh, one terabyte is costing about 40,000 higher. So where is 40,000 and where is 14,000 I thought. Then another issue what I faced is they are showing as 2000 Mbps but actually this is USB 3.2 and if you try whatever you try you get just uh, maximum 800 Mbps speed that is uh, in black magic if you uh, try using your SSD you won't get this speed what is required but it will work out 100% this uh, Samsung T9 T7 everything will work out there is no issues. Now if you want that kind of speed what is there in Mac uh, actually so more than that also you get speed that is by opting this uh, enclosure. So this is an enclosure uh, tool so ACASIS uh, 40 GB PS uh, NVMe SSD enclosure so this will opt you it is USB 4 Thunderbolt so thing is 40 mbps is quite uh, 40 gbps it is quite lot of speed but thing is 14000 you have to spend for uh, one time investment and you can replace this chip anytime like uh, inside chip you can replace anytime whatever you see here so thing is for uh, getting this uh, one terabyte of nvme uh, so that we can match our speed uh, of a computer is uh, 5800 5900 so maybe this is the speed of it and uh, samsung if you opt you get up to 5000 mbps so which is like normally we can get 2700 mbps something you if you use this uh, evo in this again if you go for 2 terabyte then uh, it is going to cost you 17000 so let us uh, consider this basic 8000 plus uh, cost of this is 14,000 14,000 plus 8,000 around 22,000 one terabyte you're going to get so half of the price you get but if you are opting for two terabyte then uh, you're going to save a lot like at least uh, um, you can see that was 22 then uh, if you opt for two terabyte it is going to take you up to 30,000 or something but whereas uh, Mac would take you 80,000. So again, you're going to save a lot. So this is the story. Uh, so if you're looking for final access, best option is this one purchasing a enclosure, which is 40 GBPS 
this is only the proper uh, exact solution or else you will purchase this then uh, you may have some slow speed issues if you are looking for very high speed i am telling even though 600 to 700 will work out